Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. How are you? I think I'm lost. What is this place? I don't hey! know. Why younger people want to forget your culture and forget about your history? You should know that this is Makubusho area. As you can see, eh? we have various traditional houses which our ancestors used. For example, this one is for Nyambo people from Kagera region. Wow. And it's... that one is for Sukuma people. Wow. So if you go around this place, you can find traditional houses for various traditions or tribes that are found in Tanzania. And that one by Sukuma from Shinyanga and Mwanza. And if you go back there, you can see various traditional houses from various tribes. So you are welcome and you can go and see around those traditions. You should not forget your culture and the history. Thank you, it's a nice place. Hello viewers, welcome to our history program. This history program consists of five lessons. This history program is about understanding the history of man as well as the ancient history of our, our country. The first program is about the meaning, sources and importance of history. Hope you will enjoy it. After watching this lesson, you should be able to explain the terms history and recording describe historical sources which are found in east africa and analyze the importance of history to man's life man what is the meaning of history oh what complicated question is that just ask your father okay daddy what is the meaning of history do you know the meaning of history yes. Oh, okay, right. Uh, you know, history is a record of human activities in an area. And these activities are those human used in order to survive from their earliest years. The activities we are talking about, this includes the plants our ancestors made for obtaining basic necessities such as food, shelter, and clothes. They made fire for cooking food and for warning themselves. They made implements with metal objects with which they could hunt and protect themselves. And they used materials from their local environment to make clothes to wear and to build structures for shelter and protection from wild animals and the elements of the nature. You can hear a number of meaning of history, but this is the best one. That sounds like a hard work. I'm so glad they did that for us. You are right, my daughter. They made a way smooth so that we can get a better life and you have to respect them. There are various ways of explaining historical information, and one of it is museum, isn't it? Yeah, you are right. When you come to the museum, you can visit a lot of things, as you are seeing here. Yes. And in Tanzania, we got uh, a lot of museum, but we have the small one and we have the big. It's yes. so like in Karenga Iringa, we have also in Bujora Mwanza, and here we are in the National Museum of Tanzania, and this is House of Kacha. Museum. So we are dealing with a lot of things. We have also village museum. We have memorial museum. We have 
uh, declaration museum in Arusha and also we have memorial Mwalimu Nyerere museum in Butiama there. So as we see here, we have a lot of things we can see, like we have this different mask that's built by Wamakonde, and also we have like science and technology. We have this bicycle that's made by wood, and also we have things to use for those who are smoking and doing some, some like using a, a tobacco and so on. And also we have here the building. This is from Wabena, and this is original from Iringa. So when you visit a museum, you can find a lot of things. First, you enjoy, you entertain, and you get education. So that is. Archaeology is the other source of historical information. It is the study of remains referring to fossils and the bones of human beings. The tools they made and left behind after they passed on. Historical sites are the areas where ruins of physical structures and drawings can be observed. For example, places like Kilwa, Kondoa Irangi, and Bagamoyo in Tanzania. Other sources of historical information include archives, written records, and anthropology, which is the study of humans in the context of their life. Nilikuwa naitwa Chaote. Wakaenda kutembea, walipoenda kutembea chakula siku ya kwanza kikapigwa kwa chakula pale. Yule mwenyeji akasema kwamba hiki chakula cha wageni. Sasa fisi akakasirika, akalala na njule sungura mgeni akasema kwamba hiki chakula ni chaote. Sungura yangu ndio chaote leo ndio inabidi mimi nile kichakula peke yangu. Sasa akakasirika akaondoka. Hadithi yangu imeisha. Another source of historical information is oral tradition. It is a valuable method to spread historical information by word of mouth through storytelling, narration, poems, and proverbs. These are passed from one generation to the other generation, usually from the older generation to the young ones. The importance of history as a subject are it helps us to recognize the past, present, and predict for the future. History gives an explanation about the historical changes taking place in production relations and it helps us to appreciate what has been done by our forefathers. For example, the model that our nation founding father let Julius Nyerere left for us to follow. For example, you can see those are the cars which were used by Mwalim Julius Nyerere. Viewers, thank you for watching our program on the meaning, sources, and importance of history. We look forward to have your company next time. It's me, Regina Jerobian, your presenter. Until next time, take care.